the Ravens traded defensive end Chris Wormley to the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers get Chris Wormley and a 2027th round pick. The Ravens got a 2025th round pick. This is a really odd trade, not only because you very rarely ever see a trade within the same division, uh, but this is only the second time in history that there's been a trade between the Steelers and the Ravens. It's very, very weird. Here's the thing. Trading players away to a team you play twice a year almost never happens. No one likes doing it because you don't want to help your rival. And if you do ever trade a player from your own team to a team you play twice a year within your own division, it's kind of a level of disrespect to that player saying, we're not afraid of you. The Ravens basically said, hey, yeah, go play for the Steelers. We're not afraid of you. We'll play you twice a year. No bother to us. Now, the reason why the Baltimore Ravens got rid of him was because they added two more defensive ends in uh, throughout their free agency moves. They brought in Calais Campbell from the Jaguars. They brought in Michael Brockers from the Rams. So they're like, we just don't need him anymore. Chris Wormley was going to cost the Ravens over $2 million this year, which is a lot for a backup defensive end. He's not going to play a ton. And so in my opinion, all around, even though this is an odd trade, it's very rare to see a trade between the Ravens and the Steelers in their own division. I think everybody won here. The Ravens didn't need him, and he was going to be an expensive backup. They saved room salary cap-wise. The Steelers got a new starting defensive end, good for them, at a pretty you know moderate price. Chris Wormley is expensive for a backup. He's actually pretty cheap for a starter. And Chris Wormley wins because he gets to play. So all around, I think everybody wins. It's an odd trade. Again, only the second time we've ever seen the Steelers and the Ravens complete a trade between each other. Um, but I think everybody won in the end. In case you don't know, Strong Opinion Sports is not just a YouTube channel. It is also a full audio podcast. You can find it on Spotify, on iTunes, on Google Play, pretty much everywhere you find podcasts. And if you like podcasts, please do me a huge favor and give it a listen.